So hi everyone, I'm here to talk to you about Dear Imgui, which is a, a special library that I really like and I want to share with everyone. Um, so this is a GUI library, and so let's review how GUI libraries work. Uh, this basically, I'm going to talk about two uh, main ways to write GUI libraries. Uh, the first one is the retain mode GUI. So when you write a retain mode GUI, uh, typically your program looks something like this, where you set up like a window and maybe some widgets, like a text box or some buns, and you'll kind of like hook them all up together and maybe put on some callbacks and you know, bust out your design patterns book, put in some observers and some all this can, you know, fancy stuff. Um, and after you set everything up, you say run and then it just goes. And uh, after that, it kind of just like, every, all the logic is handled inside of callbacks and, and that kind of logic. The second way to write a GUI library is immediate mode. So uh, this is an example of immediate mode GUI uh, where um, you see the main difference is that uh, the code on the left there, <coughs> actually each one of those function calls makes uh, the corresponding widget appear. So when you say imgui text, that makes a text, bo uh, text box appear. And uh, the idea is that this code on the left is actually run in a loop. So you run this code in a loop over and over again, and at every iteration of your program, you regenerate the entire GUI. And so you know that might sound kind of weird at first, but actually it turns out to be extremely useful for writing uh, clean code and writing fast code. I mean fast, I mean in terms of uh, uh, development speed, not in terms of uh, performance. So actually, here's some pros and cons. Um, so if you're using retain mode, since it's interrupt-based, that means you only do work when events happen. So when you click on your mouse or whatever, that makes it more efficient in terms of power. So if you're gonna have a program that runs for a long time, you probably wanna go with retain mode. Uh, however, uh, immediate mode is, is actually polling-based, so uh, it's power inefficient in the sense that it'll be doing constant work no matter what, even if nothing's happening. Um, retain mode is mostly static, so you basically build everything up up front, and then it doesn't change very much after that. And if you do wanna change things after that, it's gonna be pretty ugly and you're probably gonna have like lots of pointer problems. Uh, on the other hand, the medium mode is very dynamic because since you rebuild it every frame, uh, every frame you can completely change how the GUI looks depending on what's going on in your program. Um, retain mode is probably, probably better for long-term design, but medium mode is actually really good for fast prototyping. And so uh, I would recommend using retain mode for everyday GUI apps like a calculator, uh, but medium mode is actually really useful for real-time sim simulations where basically you wanna have a GUI that's very responsive based on what's going on in real-time in your program. Um, so Dear in GUI is a library that implements this immediate mode GUI paradigm in C++. Um, here's some nice little screenshots that I took from the GitHub page uh, that show you basically what it looks like. Uh, on the top right here, you can actually see it's being used in the timeline for our rendering program, so you can get a feel for, yeah, people use this in real-time simulations. Um, if you want to use Dear, uh, Dear in GUI in your programs today, uh, there's only a few steps you have to do. First, go to the uh, in GUI GitHub, which I'll show at the end of this talk. Uh, grab the sources for in GUI. Um, just add them to your project and also download uh, the pre-made bindings they have. They have bindings for DirectX and OpenGL and all operating systems and all that kind of stuff. Um, you have a few callbacks here you have to put into your main, so not very much work, just call in it a new frame and process events and call render out of every loop. And after that, you basically just start putting in MGUI calls. So you just write text or button or whatever and it'll start uh, generating uh, MGUI uh, widgets. So I'm actually ending a bit early, uh, but Here's the links to those libraries. So, or rather, DM GUI is the library at the top there if you want to go grab that. But there's also another one, another immediate mode GUI library uh, by, called Nuclear that's also uh, pretty good. And, and actually, uh, Nuclear is an NCC library. So if you happen to be constrained to NCC, that could be a, a really interesting choice. Um, and here's some GIFs that I found uh, of MGUI in action. So you can see also very useful for writing tools. And that's all. Thank you for listening. <laughs>